Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel Rosology. I'm so honored to have you here with me today. This video is for all of my amazing Capricorns out there, so that is Sun, Moon, Rising, even Venus. So I'm going to be covering the energetic forecast that I see for your month of August. I will be telling you about the challenges, blessings, your main area of focus, as well as I've even channeled a message from your guides for this specific reading. So let me first start by saying a huge thank you to all of you new subscribers and you day one subscribers. Welcome to your soul tribe. I appreciate each one of you for giving me and my channel a chance. The space that we are creating together here is so positive and encouraging and I love you guys so much for being a part of that. Literally every one of you is such a bright light in my life and on this channel and that means so much to me and there's already so much negativity going around even in the spiritual community that I've been seeing and I feel as though all of us here are really working every single day, like really putting in that hard work and labor to be strong enough to not get sucked into becoming a part of any of those antics. Um, and it's interesting too, because just a few days ago, after meditating, a message came to me. And very briefly, it was about um, how our beautiful creator or the most high or source spirit, whatever you refer to it as, um, is the source that created everything. Everything comes from that one specific source of unconditional love and is through our own process of metabolizing the energy that the creator has given to us and transmuting that energy back out into the world or the universe through our own choices that manipulate or influence or direct how and what that energy becomes. That's why three is such a magical number, but because it is the number of creation that is source plus us equaling a, another energetic entity. Okay, so it's really about what energy are you responsible for producing? We all have to be responsible and accountable for the energy it is that we are producing with the energy that source is giving us because the energy that source gives us is love that's why we are such powerful co-creators here because we are the ones that take that energy and turn it into whatever it is that we want to turn it into whether that be positive or negative so really what world are you co-creating are you putting out positivity or something different because whatever energy we put out into the world is exactly what returns to us and i feel like that's a major theme for this leo season is becoming more aware of the energy that we are creating because this season is all about getting back whatever you've been putting out and I've been seeing this all around me in my personal life and several of the readings I've done so be responsible and accountable for the energy that you are creating this Leo season isn't about others it's about us it's about the self so despite what may have been done to you or inflicted upon you from another person or an external source the core of this month has an intense focus on the self okay so before getting into this reading you guys know me i have to say that this is a general reading and not a personal one so you have to apply your own intuitive abilities for this message to resonate with your own individual spirit okay so to help you get intuitively tapped into this reading i'm going to be offering a brief meditation so if you'd like to participate get into a nice quiet and relaxed space take three very deep breaths you want to breathe in for about five seconds hold that breath for three and then exhale for at least six to seven seconds okay and take three really deep breaths and we'll go on ahead and get into that meditation right now So hopefully that meditation was enough time for you to get your own psychic abilities revved up and going. If not, feel free to pause this video. Don't forget to check out your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos if you haven't already. I've linked each sign's video in the description down below. So for those of you that are ready, thank you again so much for tuning in and being a bright light in this world. Now let's dive into the cards to see what your August is looking like for my Capricorns, okay? All right, Capricorns, so welcome to your reading. So let's go on ahead and start off with this card all the way over here to the left this is going to be showing me the challenging energy that you may be dealing with this august so let's see what we're working with and we have the eight of cups 
All right, so the challenges this month for my Capricorns is moving on, I'm getting. Your emotions are not going to want to cooperate with your brain this August. Your mind is going to know what is best for you and what isn't, but your heart or your emotions are going to want to ignore what your mind is conjuring. So it's like, let's say for instance, this is just an example, a job opportunity comes up this month, but something about this opportunity just doesn't add up in a practical sense. But it may be difficult for you to walk away from the money or the opportunity because you're emotionally tied to an outcome that you are hoping for. So maybe you're hoping for more money or a higher position or to start a family or to change locations or to buy a new car. But on a logical sense, you're going to know that this is something you should pass on. For example, anyways, that was just an example. So the advice that I would give to really combat this mind to heart conflict, I would say, is to emotionally detach from any any outcome. Lose your assumptions for this particular thing, whatever it may be. Do not have expectations because there is a possibility here in August that you could be setting yourself up for some form of disappointment in the future. But if you don't have these presumptions or expectations in place, then you can't be disappointed or let down in the future because you're not emotionally tied to any outcome. So you won't be hopeful either which way. And that's really going to save your feelings for this month of August. Another challenge I'm seeing here, which is kind of tied into what I just said, um, but it's maintaining emotional balance because this right here, this is this is the number eight here. And eight is all about balance and harmony or synergy. And I'm seeing there be a few things that could take you out of that emotional equilibrium that my Capricorns are known for maintaining so well usually. So that's why I was saying for sure, drop all of your expectations. Don't put anything or anyone on some sort of pedestal. Don't have any sort of standards set in place. It's going to be ultra important for you to be emotionally flexible this August. That flexibility is going to reestablish that emotional symmetry for you, okay? So um, I'm feeling for you Capricorns, uh, but honestly, it's really just about remaining flexible for this month of August. I'm, I'm a Capricorn rising, so I'm really feeling this reading right now, but um, I would say to really combat or to really deal with this challenging energy in a way that's going to be productive for you and beneficial for you, that the way you can turn this challenge into a win is uh, to remain as flexible as possible, okay? So let's go ahead and check out this middle card here, and this is going to be showing me the blessings that you may be seeing for the month of August. So let's go ahead and see, and we have the lovers here. So the fortunate energy that I'm seeing come into your August Capricorns is I'm seeing that there's a choice here that you have the pleasure of making this month. This is one of your biggest blessings for August is the fact that you are in complete control over how you are affected. Another blessing I'm seeing, which is uh, kind of like what I was just saying though, um, but it's options. So you're going to have more than one alternative here. So whether you are contemplating a job, relationship, finance, is an aspect of your life, where you live, who you're around, how you see life, your pers your perspective or your emotional responses, a lifestyle, whatever it is. I'm seeing everything being under your control this month. If you choose to be in control, though, that's the only way to activate this gift that the universe is throwing you is by making a conscious decision to be the one directing your own reality and life this month. You have to be the one that is in control over your emotional being this August, okay? If you choose to be the conductor of your own symphony, then a plethora of options will open up to you because that's the thing about this card is there's a male and female present here and male and female, man and woman are polar opposites. They are representatives of completely different ends of the spectrum. So that's how much space and opportunity and potential you have to work with here. You get to work with the entire spectrum or an entire range of opportunities take full advantage of this because you are co-creating heavily this August be aware of this gift yes it is a blessing but it is also a tremendous responsibility when you are the only one in control of what happens another blessing as well in a practical sense is if you have been seeking a partnership of any kind whether that be romantic platonic or business oriented there's major potential for that happening here like I was saying you're going to have a lot of options this month and you're going to be in complete control of a over what option it is that you choose. Okay, so let's go on ahead and take a look at this card. And this is going to be showing me your main area of focus for the month. So the thing that's going to have your attention the most this August is 
the page of pentacles. All right, so the main focus of the month for my Capricorns I'm seeing is really taking it slow. You are a cardinal earth sign, so you are assertive. Once you have made up your mind about something, once you come to your own conclusion about a person, place, thing, whatever, you make a move without hesitation, just like the lover's card here, which represents a choice. Once you settle on that choice or once you settle on that option, you are not resistant or you are not hesitant about making a move on that certain choice or option whatever it is that you choose that's the thing that makes you assertive is is this cardinal element that you have to your sign so i'm seeing you really take your time this month to make sure you're making the choice that will benefit you and your loved ones the most you may not be used to working with so many different options and choices so the fact that you will have to choose between so many different things will kind of be the hold up for you this month a little bit but it's wise for you at the same time because like i was saying with this eight of cups over here your heart or your emotions are going to be operating on a completely different channel from your mind so that's going to cause some interference with your decision making and it'll cause you to slow down just a little bit just to make sure that you are making a decision that in the long run will be beneficial for you and another thing i'm seeing here is you being drawn to the shiniest or loudest or whoever or whatever is doing the most that is what is going to initially catch your attention in august but because you know yourself so well and because you know what the end goal here is for you you're going to really dissect through each and every option you're going to feel a need to work a little more slowly this month to really make sure you're choosing the best choice your goal is your priority and I see you doing everything in your power to maintain that as your top priority and if not then this is a call for you to take it slow and to remember what you are working or fighting for okay so let's go ahead and take a look at this card over here this is going to be showing me a message from your guides for this month of August and we have the six of wands look at that exactly your message from your guides is you are on track to getting what it is that you want that recognition that win that goal that dream you are on track and you are headed in the right direction what you have been working on or for is coming Capricorn another thing here is the number six the lovers is the number six card in the major arcana of the tarot and then we have two cards here with the number eight so eight and six which is interesting um we have two sixes two eights and eight and six both of these numbers are about harmony six is considered the perfect number and is the number related to venus so for me this is saying that the thing you value the most which would be your dreams and goals can only be obtained or attracted through balance so this month you may be extra focused on your goals and dreams but like I was saying with this eight here um yeah <laughs> with this eight here you must establish stability between the heart or the goals and the things you desire the most with your logic so I believe that August you're going to be heavily focused on what you want the most you're going to be attracting and working for it in a literal sense August is going to be a crucial month in deciding what direction you take to get to to your goals or dreams or aspirations okay so let's go on ahead and take a look at your oracle cards here to see what else we've got going on for your august and we have the very first one mummy change look at that exactly <laughs> so there's a choice that you must make just like i was saying with the lover's card here when you choose something okay you forego every other option you are telling every other option i've made my choice and i'm deciding i'm choosing this one thing i can't see anything else i can't see any other options because i've settled on this one so you're for, you're foregoing every other option because you are saying this is where i'm going to direct my focus on this one specific thing or purpose or whatever it may be so there's a massive change I believe that this card is alluding to because like I said this August for my Capricorns this is going to be about you finally making an informed decision so you can start moving ahead on the road that you are already on you are already on the correct path many of you especially if you're leading from your heart space and your I am presence all you have to do is fine-tune some things choose a direction after assessing every option then make your move so massive changes are coming and I'm basically seeing a lot of change come towards the middle to the end of your month okay let's go on ahead and take a look at the next card here and we have your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn that's funny so this is confirmation 
This is confirmation for sure for my Capricorns. You are on the right track. This is about getting all of your ducks in a row, aligning the heart and mind this month so you can finally move forward with every part of your being centered, grounded, and focused on one specific target. Your hard work is paying off. There's a huge win coming to my Capricorns this month, okay? So get ready for that because that sounds absolutely amazing. And the very next card that we have here is Recovery. Yes, so this is all about fine-tuning this card I'm feeling. Um, so like I was saying, you've been training Capricorn. Many of you have been getting ready and prepared for something big, even if you didn't or don't know what that thing is just yet. You've been learning through every disappointment and setback and challenge. You are Capricorn. You never see a loss as a loss because one, you're ruled by Saturn, the father of challenges, fears, and discipline. You more than any other sign in the Zodiac is built for the grueling climb it takes to get to the top. You've been training the way an athlete trains for one of the biggest games of his career. They train for months or weeks, sometimes years, because they know there's going to come a moment in time where they have to give everything it is that they have to push their body to great heights. This is you, Capricorn. Spirit has been preparing you mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually for a very long time now. That dream is about to come to materialize very very soon here so start fine-tuning what you need to this August that big game that you've been training for is about to come up but the thing is you can't lose at this game okay this game opportunity moment that you've been waiting and training for this is something that has been destined and fated for you for a very long time now this is yours to claim the time is approaching very fast so get ready okay so with standstill this card talks about it's the time to get out of analysis paralysis so standstill invites you to turn within breathe and recognize that this is the condition of the moment it allows you the opportunity to bear witness to whatever is going on before movement resumes this is also an opportunity to abort a project or to exit before damage and it may be time to relieve you of an unnecessary commitment that you took on without considering the cost which one it is depends on your stopping taking a breath quieting your mind and removing all of your distractions then you can make your next move in a grounded relaxed and detached way when something doesn't go the way you think it should just remember the following what is yours cannot be taken away you guys I can't make this up okay like that's what this card talks about and this card confirmed everything I said about this entire reading this is just your spirit guides coming through trying to tell you about this win that you're about to collect okay so get excited and get ready Capricorn but um remember just remain emotionally flexible get ready for this win keep training because you are ready and prepared for this okay uh but this is all that I'm seeing from my Capricorns thank you guys so much for tuning in I pray that this reading brought you guys some love support clarity and strength for the month of August but you're gonna be just fine and um hopefully you guys come back to visit me sometime soon and I'll be back next time all right bye guys